Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the second episode of the Lost in Thought podcast. I'm your host, Nate Tippery. In front of me is audio engineer and technical expert. Emphasis on expert, especially if you saw, <laughs> saw our rig right now. Maybe you'd actually kind of reconsider the, the term perfect. expert there. But um, anyways, Jeffrey Mayfield. Woo, Woo Jeff. <laughs> to my left is the community manager or the guy that's just here, whatever. <laughs> He goes by both. Person. I mean, Person. <laughs> he's a, a man of many hats. Brian Lawyer. Yeah, that guy's pretty Or is cool. it wears many hats? How's that phrase go? I, I, I probably know. butchered that. Wears his hat? Yeah. It's a man are, who where wears. Where are they, Brian? Yeah. But... <laughs> where are my hats? Where'd they go? What do you guys do with my <laughs> hats? <laughs> Anyways, we're going to get things kicked off uh, just right now, I guess. <laughs> we have a lot to talk about is what I'm trying to say. So we're, we got <laughs> North Davies it. basketball. Yeah. College basketball, NFL trades, video games, up and coming releases, and uh, pretty current releases with Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, some Overwatch 2, and a lot more. So, but before we jump into any of that, I want to give a huge shout out to all of the people that came out in support of the podcast for the first ever episode. It was Ooh, phenomenal. I, any of you. <laughs> yeah, I, I. That was wild. It was a, a, a lot more views, a lot more people showing their support than I ever could have imagined for our first showing so in our last episode the number we gave was literally 10 i gave 10 yeah (laughs) we were were gunning for 10 because i made a joke i was like yeah we're gonna do a giveaway at 10 views (laughs) and my goodness (laughs) and uh yeah i thought i set the bar high well yeah we (laughs) basically on youtube we exceed that by you know 15 times the amount. I think yeah. we have, a, we're sitting around 158 views. At the we, time, yeah. We currently. At the premiere. <laughs> we exceed yeah. the, at wild. the premiere itself. So, absolutely wild. We want to thank you for all of your support. And, yeah, just you can continue, you can continue to leave your, your thoughts and comments. Be, you know, it's, this is an interactive podcast. We want to get your input. And, yeah, hopefully we can begin to implement that in the future. We're still um, kind of working on some things. <laughs> And it's that's kind of all more the apparent right now as we are staring at a shoe that is propping up one of our cameras. But you know we won't go into details on that. You're not quite even talking this. about the shoe that's on top of an air fryer. Well, there's there's multiple. Yeah. <laughs> so well, we haven't gotten the camera from the other side yet that would show that. <laughs> For real. You can't, see the, can't see that one yet. <laughs> we're waiting on a new pair of shoes. Yeah, we're <laughs> yeah. So we'll, we'll we'll probably procure some more shoes in the future, just as <laughs> as time goes on, and, and we see some more support from you guys. So thank, thank you. Goodness, you. Maddie works at Shoe Carnival. <laughs> <laughs> we get deals. It would be be quite the struggle if you didn't. Oh, not at all. But some <laughs> specific people I want to shout out. Uh, I'm not. We know who these people are. We don't want to give their full names. We want to keep them quote-unquote anonymous or kind of use their alias they have on their username for youtube uh that first person is user t gray he shouted us Mm -hmm. out on his social media and we can't thank him enough for that he really i'm i'm glad he enjoyed it yes as much just to the point where he felt moved to actually share you know his experiences on the podcast on his social media to so many other people so we thank you for that and um another user uh shawnee be good uh he actually left a comment in our video and we kind of want to address that right now and i'm gonna go ahead and read it for you guys so um what he said uh basically was good first cast guys i enjoy watching you strike out into new endeavors as you as you can i recommend building a set in the corner of a room sitting at a table, and better lighting. You can get cheap lights on Amazon and work your way up. Also, write up timed show notes and eventually set up moderator and super chat for financial support and and an active audience participation. Really looking forward to watching you guys grow. So, thank you, Sean, for that comment. Shawnee, be good. Um, And we'll probably... So, like we said, this is a work in progress. Uh, we kind of already, very bootlegged right it's now. very bootleg <laughs> it's <unreal>. it <laughs> right is. now. It's kind of, yeah. So we're getting we're, there. It, it's a work in pro- progress. We've yeah. definitely addressed these things we have up the table, in group conversation. We have a table that we are currently not using for the way that we intended it to be used. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we were, our original idea was to sit around the table and then we ended up on this couch because we are very limited in space. So we're trying to work out 
a better area to do this so that we can then adjust. We could do it in the basement. The basement <laughs> is a storm cell. <laughs> the hey, the, you know, to get proper proper lighting <laughs> with your, was, in that was, storm cellar like, yeah, would be was, so much easier. Was, not as much ambient light down there. <laughs> might not have ants down there. That is true. <laughs> They're all up here. It's true. Speaking of that, uh, we want to th- th- thank our special guests for showing up. The 3,000 ants in Brian's apartment <laughs> right now. And Crokey. And Cro- <laughs> Thank you, Crokey, for being here. Ooh. But yeah, so this is, this is a work in progress. And uh, a lot of these things we have that you mentioned in your comment, we have talked about and are looking for better solutions and just kind of if you have more, more specific recommendations for better solutions, solutions yeah. then we wouldn't, we, I mean, we wouldn't mind that either. To those. So yeah, yeah, anything you guys can think of, you, be, you know, just feel free to share that with us. We won't get offended. On any of our platforms. We will definitely not get offended we whatsoever. We intend to grow this fast. <laughs> we, yeah, we were not <laughs> expecting the amount of support that we already got. So I mean, We thought it was going to be our mothers and just about no one else. <laughs> so, so thank you. We can't thank you guys enough already. It's, it's been phenomenal and just, just beyond our wildest imaginations to, to what we see. But anyways, so... With that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right in to the hot topic, at least around, you know, in these southern parts. Indiana, <laughs> around, these around parts, these parts, around our parts. <laughs> and that is North Davies that basketball. Matter. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the only, only parts that matter. But North Davies basketball, they are the Class 1A state basketball champs. Ooh. I repeat, they are the 1A basketball state champs i can't the phenomenal job boys yeah for um, real yeah There's i watched we were all gonna be there but yes me, and, me and eric who again is not here we're the, yeah, only, eric. We're the only people that were actually in attendance wait wh- where's Eric? but you guys were both watching right i don't know so, where's eric yeah we're, <laughs> uh, so you guys were both watching right yeah, so i was, I was ill and i was actually telling brian this Nate so was dying so have any of you guys seen the 1971 Gene Wilder, uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I might have. I can't remember. So I've there's a scene it. where all the contestants who won a golden ticket were walking into the, uh, the candy wonderland. Because every, everything is made out of candy. And <laughs> when, when they were walking, they kind of do a panoramic view. And they hit a chocolate waterfall <laughs> that is gushing and flowing into a chocolate river. So if you kind of want to put two and two together, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, I was, was that, that was chocolate Nate. waterfall. <laughs> that, was, that was Nate's. We so uh, going on <laughs> back to uh, back to the the main topic, and that's for the reason why I wasn't there. But I did watch online every minute of it. So, and it was a phenomenal basketball game. It was a great game. So yeah, it went to it was. Th- so North Davies won forty eight to forty six in two overtimes. Um, I can't emphasize the strength of their defense enough. Yeah, oh, it is a, fun, a, f- a phenomenal, a phenomenal defensive team. This year. Phenomenal defensive team, and those are kind of um, Coach Dalrymple, who's the coach uh, for those who, for those who don't know, Coach Dalrymple, who's been the coach for North Davy the North Davies basketball program for twenty two years now. Yeah, twenty two. Twenty two years now, um, has always, always, always emphasized defense, rebounding, and h- making the hustle plays. And what yeah. I mean by making hustle plays is you know loose balls um just just any anything where you're gonna have to exert a lot of effort to to save something you know save a ball out of bounds uh the 50 50 balls anything like that yeah they i say it's <laughs> hustle plays and defense are what he's kind of built it off it, of. he built it off and and, and he the, had to build this from the ground up too oh yeah yeah 100 th- th- this mentality is not something uh, i n- that, that i know of that was really in the forefront of, uh, 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 honestly, in a lot of basketball programs nowadays, uh, emphasizing those those three key parameters. And I think, and, and one thing, you know, not a lot of people necessarily agree with Coach Dalrymple, but being a former player of his, those three aspects are kind of just the the principles behind, you know, making those hustle plays. Uh, rebounding and playing good defense are you know kind of translated to my life after after the fact 
after I played was finished with my high school career. Um, it's extremely important. And those things, and, and what all of those three things have in common is effort. Yeah. All of those require a hundred percent effort. And those are always things you can control as well. Yeah. You can always control how hard you're going to play defense. You can always you're control you're going to your, your control how hard you're going to dive for a ball. You can always control if you're going to exert the extra effort to box somebody out to make sure that they do not get the rebound. I mean, there's going to be nights where your, your shot's not going to fall. There's going to be nights where you're going to make cruddy turnovers. Those yeah, are things that just you, happen. What can you do on those nights to still win? And to still win, and that is play phenomenal defense, rebound, and get every 50-50 ball and every hustle play you possibly can. And that's exactly the reason why they won that game in oh, double yeah. overtime, 48-46. to 46. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're an extremely talented basketball team. They work very hard for good shots all the time. They work or, extremely I mean, hard for good shots. I, the but, way he put it is, you know, he's said it before. I mean, I've heard him say it. And then he said it in his interviews after is they pass up good shots to get great shots. Great shots. 100, and that, that's something that he's preached as long, as long as I've known him. And I'm sure ever since his tenure began, way back uh, in, I guess it would have been 2000 since he's been there yeah. for, yep. for 22 years. So, and, and like I was saying, those things translate off the court because those, those three principles that he ingrained in us are just kind of things that I, I generally, you know, because sometimes in life you can get down and there's just things you can't control, right? Kind of like the turnovers, mm -hmm. like sometimes you're going to have a bad pass, you're going to have a bad shot. But if you exert the effort for whatever trial you may be going through, if you seek the, your teammates around you, right, or the people in your group, right? Yeah. Um, if you want to see the teammates around you in basketball, the people in your, in, you know, people in around life. you in your life, Co coworkers, friends, yeah. or friend, family, then you're going to see success in whatever endeavor you embark on. 100%. And those are those things I, I, I take from, from Coach Dalrymple, and I hope those boys take as well. And you can you can see that finally paid off in a state they championship, and that is not a hard. Ladies, cool now. yeah, ladies, that is not a hard. That is not an easy thing to do. It is extremely difficult, especially from our sectional. Especially, yeah, no, no, <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> our sectional is crazy. Oh, you know, you have Lagodi, Barive, and I, I would like to know since the year two thousand and ten to now, how many states? Four. Yeah, so four, four from our sectional. Two Barive, one Lagodi, one us. No, state it's titles for it's four of the last ten, right? Yeah, yeah. Four, so four of the last ten, and then I know so, Barreve made a couple more semi states. Yeah, as well. Yeah. Maybe I don't. Know, I'm not sure about Lagodi. And then and 2011, just, we made I mean, it. That's just states that were won too. Yeah, they, yeah. That was not even. I don't know. You know runner up, lost one or not. I, yeah. I feel like Barreve might have gotten there before. <laughs> But Maybe? I don't know. But the common thing you see between all of those teams are those three, like great defense. Yeah. Great rebounding, and they make, and then whatever team makes the, and you can really see whatever team usually is making those, those hustle plays and grabbing those 50 50 balls has a pretty good chance of winning that game. Cause you know, they're just so much more invested yeah. and willing to exert energy on, you know, on, 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 on the part aspects of ask basketball that aren't as glamorous. And then, you know, just to not necessarily step away from that, but to, for those that maybe haven't seen a basketball game in this area before, I, you know, 10 out of 10 would recommend come watch a Southern Indiana basketball oh, game. Oh, 100%. Yep. It, it is, it is it's different. different. It is, it is different. The environment's different. The game itself is different. It, but you got to get there early or you might run out of Mountain Dew. <laughs> you got to <laughs> yeah. be there quick. You got to be there quick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just. To help everybody out. The, the Amish yeah. water is in limited supply around here, so. <laughs> gotta, gotta get there while it's still, while, while but yeah, it's I still think North, coming. But yeah, I think North Davies, right, had like 5,000 plus people. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was around 5,000. There was a Game Bridge employee that said he had never seen that many people come for one team before. No, oh, yeah, it's, I mean, people bleed basketball. I, believe, I say I believe the radio guys were the ones that said. It appeared around 5,000. I yeah. don't know if they actually got a real number. Yeah, I don't know if they counted that. Or if they were estimating. No, yeah. 
it, yeah, it, it, it was wild. It was a great time. The environment in the stadium itself was incredible. And I mean, there was there was a call, a couple calls that were questionable, and just to hear the rain of booze that oh, came yeah. afterwards, <laughs> it was it was so loud in the stadium. Like in the stadium, I will say one thing: their their band didn't really hold up their part. So <laughs> their band that they didn't they didn't they, 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 they didn't re- didn't show up. <laughs> no, they said I saw the update, and, on and they're it. seasoned veterans too, right? They've been to state They've championships multiple, multiple times. Time. I saw the thing. The update was that their apparently their band director is out or sick or something, and oh. then the sub couldn't bring him. So they just I don't didn't regret what I said. True, but I was just you know just to put that out there because I saw Jeff uh, gotcha. Vandermeer posted one. That makes sense. Our band director posted yeah. one about he had responded about it. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, so I mean, that yeah, was, like... I mean that was everything that was going on in our area this weekend because that's all that. Absolutely, anybody. Was yeah, doing. the town of Odin. Since I was sick and was it was a ghost town, completely silent. I, say, Nate was the I probably saw like two cars Nate. drive by, <laughs> which I mean I don't see very very much traffic where I live, anyways. But still, I, I mean it was completely silent. Everybody, our, we have a town of about fourteen, six fourteen to sixteen hundred fourteen to sixteen hundred people. So, and they were, and we had five thousand at the. Yeah. yeah, so I I don't know. I mean, I'm sure Eleanor I mean, played the family, play extended family, family, you know, it, yeah. it, it starts to add up. It adds up, but there were a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, 100%. And, and, and I guess we can we can talk a little bit more about the, like, so if we want to get dive a little bit deeper into the actual game, guys. Um, first quarter, or I guess I would say, first quarter, the first, like, five minutes of the game was solid, right? The rest weren't really involved. Too much. I mean, no, there it were. Was clean. The it first was clean. Half most of the time was a very cleanly. I mean, it was a let them play, clean type of game. Yeah. Right. Second half it got very touch very foul. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Is like I mean, I, what probably happened if I had to guess is you know they went back in at halftime, and the ref three referees talked. They came out to a decision that they were switching something. They didn't like. They, they had they to. Have. They had. There had to have been because some the sort. Se- second half of the game was called completely different than it the first half. It was one hundred percent called completely different than the first half. So, but going back to the first half, both teams start out in man, yeah. and I think they, I'm, uh, North Davies, uh, um, especially this team. I think they've played man most of the season. I couldn't verify that. I don't know for sure, but I know. But Dow they are would, athletic enough, quick enough to where they playing man to man would be. I know that Dow would probably be one that one, mixes it up. Yeah, yeah. And so, and and that's my point um, that I was going to get to. So through through the first quarter, first quarter and a half, they stayed predominantly in man, and was pretty effective. I, it was kind of it was uh, a pretty equal, two pretty balanced ball too. game up to that point. I, I think the scores were. You know, either tied like, or a two point difference. It's like a three to five, three round three ish. B- but yeah, it was, uh, I mean, it was a lot of back and forth runs and like you know, like a five point run by each team, like five and then answer. But one thing, um, I remember the commentators questioning was why they went. I think it was early into the second or halfway through the second quarter why they switched to a two three. And um, for me personally. I think it was to just disrupt. They were trying. I say they were trying to disrupt. Just, the just, just disrupt the disrupt the flow, and it worked very well. I mean, to hold a team to seventeen points, and and they yeah. had been averaging around sixty five points throughout the entire tournament. Yeah, and and North Davies held them to seventeen in the yeah. first half. Yeah, first half that and is were, phenomenal. I mean, they were in the is forty right? They were forty six in double overtime, and they averaged and, sixty. In yeah. Regulation. So, on a turn on in the state or in the tournament at least. Yeah. Right. So that, that just if that tells you anything about. And so they only got the I, I don't forty six forty eight right they won by two yeah 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 so they got yeah forty six in double overtime. <laughs> so that's and yeah. the commentators the entire time were like yeah first person to get to fifty fifty yeah <laughs> well, that, didn't didn't even take fifty I don't know about that <laughs> I mean I think it was it went to it was thirty eight to thirty eight right before it went or was that. 34, to, I, I forget I mean, what it was. if it wouldn't have ended in potentially the most painful way possible, it might have got to 50. Yeah. 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 But that, that poor kid that had to go up there. 
and shoot those three shoot those at the three very end of the game. After getting iced, after hitting the first one. Yeah, I mean, no, there was no chance that. he was hitting all three of them. No. So I think North Davies in the second half led by as many as 10 yeah, at one point. Yes. The 10 and they gave up a little bit of a run back. They gave up a little bit of a run. Um, up 10, I turned it on and they threw it all away. And yeah. I was like, oh no, I need to turn this back off. <laughs> let, but, let him win. So I'll watch it later. That, <laughs> I think some of that had to do with some... I, I, never, I, I don't want to blame the refs. It's... I mean, we won, so I'm not really blaming... But it was their fault. <laughs> the second half was called a little bit differently and a little bit more in favor of uh, and I don't think, Central, yeah, or what was it? Cat- what's played, the team? I'm blanking. Played, Central Catholic played, Knights, right? Yeah, or, Knights, br- some Knights. Central, from Lafayette. Lafayette Central Catholic Knights. Lafayette, Lafayette Central Catholic. Yeah. And, and so, like, that's I mean, the team they beat. I don't even know if it's at the beginning. I said we played a little bit more physical like we were in the first half and it got a little bit more touch valley, so a lot, a lot of it was getting called. Yeah. And so... You know, that kind of shifted because then fouls started to pile up, bonus, double bonus. Yeah, and then, yeah, that's then how they kind of got there. I say they got in the, the bonus and double bonus pretty quick, and then eventually we we caught, I mean, fouls caught back up, and we were back up there by the last, like, minute or two of regulation. But yeah, they were in double bonus almost the entire second half. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And then, so, another... But, Another thing, I, I I want to shout out one particular individual. Yeah, he had the game of his life, is what I heard. Devin Collins, uh, number 22, I believe. He, I think, averaged around 4.8. Five, I, th- five, I think that's what you say, were saying earlier, yeah. Five points a game. Know, but he, he stepped up when it mattered most? He stepped up in both of the o- overtimes. Yeah. I think he, he was the leading scorer with either 14 or 15, I'm not sure, and had around 8 or 10 points. In the uh, in the two overtimes, so he was. I say he was. That was. I mean, that's his, senior li- leadership right yeah, there. He I stepped yeah, he's up. A senior, he got to the rim with his left hand multiple times. He was getting yeah. it whenever and, he wanted. And that's actually something I'd like to point out is that. Do you know how you know not off not common it is for the high school players to be able to go with our left hand? Yeah, and I guarantee oh, yeah. you, anybody that's been through that basketball program will go confidently to the left hand. Which is just something that I think is really cool. Like, we're yeah, just, no, we're the, just very fundamental. The, the, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That that's something that I mean. I mean, tr- ingrained you, in us in layup drills you, constantly. Yeah. You take away that from you know Devin's game, and does you know is he able to get that if they're forcing him to his left? Probably not. You're right. Yeah. But he has it because he's been working on because it for so long. He went long. to North Davis. They, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I say North Davis. He's been been part of that program he's been grinding that you know both hands they you know if you're on the left side you better finish with your left hand yeah yeah and he you're, did that so you, have, you, you, have, you have no reason to use your right hand he he pulled off some reverses some good jump yeah. stops in the in the and that's that's important to establish you know when you make it in the paint a lot of the times you know that's something in high school level you see a lot very of very easy to, finesse layups yeah. and it's very easy just to kind of go wild and try to make a make a, a crazy play but um, you can tell the fundamentals were, you know, were rooted into these kids because you see a lot of them making those jump stop plays to to get the defender up in the air and then able to finish, um, finish while they're you know they're already they're already up in the air. So basically, you jump stop, you can get the defender up in the air, and then as they're on falling down, you can easily get an uncontested mm-hmm. layup. So, <coughs> excuse me. So. Uh, that was just phenomenal but uh, shout by out North Davies. To Devin. But shout out, I, he's my yeah. player of the game. I don't know if you guys. Um, I, who, I mean, who's the kid off the bench? Um, he came in for uh, Marcus Britton. Uh, what was his name? Taller kid. Brent, uh, Stickles. Stickles. He he also yeah. he played he really, a lot really normally. yeah, really they only hard. Go like six deep, so they, they all, they they all, all yeah. Play North Davies don't go six deep. I mean, he, he had came in work. off the. Those are. Two very good bigs on the other team. Yeah, no, th- yeah. that that was my point. He had uh, a he nightmare of an assignment too. Yeah, on his end. So yeah, I mean, it wasn't just him. They had, a lot of them were driving, getting I, those right. guys in foul trouble. But. I think he, yeah, he he's a little bit of un un. I don't want to say I don't want to say unsung hero because I don't know that for sure. One but, of the Wilson twins had ten plus rebounds as well. Yeah, so they. Dude, I mean, everyone played their part perfectly. 
and that all came together to get that that victory. So, oh, another another thing before before we move on, um, I want to shout out to Marsha Franklin. For real, um, she yeah. is an absolute saint. The amount she has done for that North Davies program cannot never be repaid. I think she's what forty three years of driving the bus for North Davies drives it everywhere. And just yep. drives it everywhere, and then I, I believe she started she keeping the, stats I say she for keeps twenty-one stats years. She's like the it was, official scorekeeper at the home games. At yeah. the home games, yeah. So she's been keeping stats and, and the official scorekeeper for North Davies since that the beginning. I, I don't know if his first year of coaching. He, I, I think they said twenty-one years. I'm not for sure that exactly. It's a long time. But it, regardless, she has done so much for that community. She deserves a medal. I don't know if she got one or not. But, I don't know. I saw people talking about how she deserves one as well. Yeah. But yeah, if it's no one is more deserving of, of that medal <laughs> than than she. I mean, she is she deserves it just as much as anyone else. So thank you, Marcia. She I mean, she drove the bus for me when I played at North Davies and has always and also kept score. So score and stats. So thank you, Marcia. Uh, you were loved by this entire community. And there's there's just not enough thanks that can be given for for all that you've done. So, True. and yeah, let's just, let's win it again next year. A oh, lot of the boys are returning. That's Same true. Only losing two, two seniors. seniors. Given one of them was, so. you know, played the game of his life in the state game. That's true. <laughs> so, so we're, he, they are, he was the they're, player of the game that we just, they, the, the guy yeah. that we just said, you know, probably should have been the so-called player of the game. Like if we had to name one. Yeah. But so, you know. They're losing. Yeah, and they're, they're losing two very good leaders as well. Yep. I mean, Marcus is a very good player too. And yeah. He is a. I mean, they're both great leaders. Yeah. But they do return a lot of talent. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, they can easily win it again next year. So. All right. Moving on to some more basketball. Oh, baby, March <laughs> Madness time. March Madness. So, at the time of this recording, our brackets are all in shambles. That is true. St. Peter's. Uh, Bless yep. their souls are getting absolutely obliterated. They were, Unless they mounted a comeback, I haven't were, checked. Yeah, the they were down twenty-two the last time I. Last time we had saw a score, which was right before we started filming, they were down twenty-two. Yeah, so I, I have very unfortunate news. Yeah, it sounds <laughs> oh, like he no. is gone. They not only lost, and they not only lost by twenty. They lost to a team that scored 69 points. No. No. Nice. nice. That hurts. Yeah. That's tough. Poor that Doug. is tough. It's all right. They were all juniors. They'll be back. How much bigger do you think their gym gets next year? Probably not very. I hope it gets bigger than <laughs> our gym. I hope they're going to do North any Davies. renovation after they went this far. I think they just did. Oh, no. <laughs> they just... Yeah, they're going to have to budget. the renovation. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a few more years before they... Expand uh, from their high school right. gym to a. Their coach is probably going to get a big job too. From, from a bad high school gym to a decent high school gym. It's real unfortunate because that coach Seton Hall jobs up and he went to Seton Hall. I did so see like, that. Oh that no! Is very unfortunate. And He's Seton Hall is good. also in New Jersey. Those offensive sets are just unbelievable. They are very good, but you know, pain. But we do get Coach K's last ride, and he gets no, to play. No, that's true gets to play against UNC now. And we do get to see Doug another year. Doug will be back next Doug year. Doug will be back. That's right. I'd love to see it. So, so who's in the Final Four right now, right? Do we, it, it should be finalized now. It's right? finalized, right? So UNC. UNC and Duke. Duke. And Arizona? No. no uh, am what? I? Uh, Houston. Did Houston I, thought, win? I thought Houston won. Villanova and Kansas. Oh, yeah. Villanova. That's yeah. right. Oh, that's right. Kansas came back and Kansas came the back life in. out of Miami. Yep. They Miami was up six at halftime and lost by like twenty something. Yeah. That's unfortunate. So, so now that St. Peter's out, I, I, I'm kind of pulling for Coach K, at this point. Yeah. Out of I all mean, the remaining teams, you always want to have those send off games. You know, go it, out on top. That always feels good. Yeah. If any man deserves it, it, it should be. You know, Former it's him. IU assistant Coach K. Yeah. Is he at, wait, at yes. one you, year? His first uh, yeah. year coaching was I did an assistant. I not know that. Yeah, his first year coaching was an assist, as an assistant for Bob Knight. And you wonder why he's so good. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I did not know and that. He coached at Army for five years, and then he's been at Duke since 1980. 
So how old is this man? <laughs> he's he's old. he's now gotten to the final four in five different decades. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> yeah. This was his fifth different decade making the final four. Yeah. Well, I'm, you you know I'm I'm pulling for you, man. No, no, shut up. That's what he said yesterday when somebody called him the goat. He nope, told nope, him to shut nope, up. Nope, to shut shut up. up. <laughs> he was like, well, I mean, "Stop it." Who, I mean, who else other than? I mean, what other coach Bob, really Bob in his Knight, ballpark? Bob Knight, Bob Knight, Bob Knight. John Wooden. John Wooden. Yeah, John Wooden. Those are the only. Oh, only that's about it. Those <laughs> are any, I mean, anywhere close to the one guy from North Carolina, not the last one, the one before him. Yeah. Dean, any coach to I mean, coach Dean the. Something? Yeah, Something. I mean he's close, I guess. I don't know. I don't. Follow. I mean he was good. I obviously. didn't follow college basketball. What, long the, okay, what was to... the other dream team? The no. second dream team with like a LeBron, Kobe, and twenty twelve. The redeem team. The redeem team. I mean he coached that, was that with team. Coach K. Yeah. yeah, that was with Coach K. I mean, won a gold medal. I mean, yeah. he's <laughs> done it all. Easily one of the uh, most I mean, one of the I most mean, successful. Yeah, he's, he's a top three all time college coach. Has to be. Oh no, yeah. no doubt. So he's probably one or two. Right. Oh yeah. yeah. No, yeah. No doubt about that. So yeah. So that's wrapping up. That'll be this weekend, right? Uh, this April second. Yep. Next Saturday. Which from when we're filming, so it'll actually be over by the time we correct. Yeah. It'll this. be. It'll be over but by the time. So here's the score. Congratulations, scores. Coach K. <laughs> there's my guess everyone learned fault for coach k thank you this will be awkward once the Good job, coach k. It'll, it'll be real awkward if you lose to unc by 30 again like you did in the conference segment please don't make this podcast awkward <laughs> so. So, so i guess <laughs> so, so what are our what are our guys' picks so obviously we have duke then it's Who's Duke, Duke UNC, playing? UNC, UNC. Villanova, and kansas no no well, unc yeah. plays duke unc plays duke but since we just congratulated Oh, who are they playing on the other side? Yeah, who are they playing on the other side? I have Kansas in my bracket, and I just need that because that's the only thing I got left. I mean, to be fair, you started like 19% in the first round. I'm so doing it's fine. Year. I'm at like 40% now. This is like the 99.8 percent percentile, right? 99.8 percentile, something yeah. like that. If you count the world's population, I'm in the 99.8th percentile. Yeah. Percentile. Well, <laughs> I don't know so why you're bad. getting so. I would mad say if you count the, the world, it'd probably be like the. Yeah, That's it would really be. It would be. It would be smaller. That's it would really be. Good. What were you in the SAT, Brian? Like the fiftieth percentile? <laughs> no, no, I had a good SAT. <laughs> I don't even know what a good SAT score is anymore, though. Well, that's to, true, because after your year, it, it changed. It changed. So that's fair. If you said your SAT score now, it'd probably just you'd be like, be "Oh my goodness!" <laughs> I didn't know you could get extra credit on those things. <laughs> <laughs> I even took the essay. <laughs> Yeah, I even paid extra for the essay portion. <laughs> the essay uh, portion that no college. Yeah, the other Too bad I got this blind from Harvard. The other time should be Kansas. <laughs> so, I mean, it'll probably be Kansas. Kansas is very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't yeah. know if it has a very... I mean, this is a lot of good coaching that is still There's a, Yeah, that's that's the big takeaway from this. There are a lot of good coaches remaining. And that's typically... You're, you're never going to not see a good coach. True. So... But now we can go. I mean, so, you want to do a move on from March Madness? Because, I mean, so we I guess to, we're, it's all just kind of in the yeah. future now. So we can't really, we're yeah. kind of caught up to the future. So our That's picks, true. So Duke, 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 and Kansas, Kansas, Kansas Duke, Duke wins. wins. Duke wins. How much? How many points? What's 69 68. Okay. By a point? Yep. All right. Nice. 69 68 is the score I put on every single bracket. I filled oh, out yeah. like two or three this year, and I. That was the final score, no matter who was meeting. Nice. I had no idea. That was just what I was going with. I don't even know what score I put. I think I put like 68-63 Texas Tech. In all reality, <laughs> it'll, probably, it'll probably be higher because I think these are all offensive teams that are left. But That's true. Oh, well. Well, cool. All right. So, big week in NFL news before we move on to gaming. Touch on the NFL for real quick. Sir, right. I'll let Brian go ahead and take Take the reins on this oh, one. baby, I'm in charge. Um, Get behind the buggy, Brian. <laughs> all right, that's enough of you, Brian. So anyway. <laughs> no, we're moving and back on. to me. All right, <laughs> guys. <laughs> no, f- football-wise, it's been free agency signings. That's kind of died down. We're waiting for really the next wave. Kind of goes in waves. Yeah. So that's uh, Chris Ballard's time he likes to shine is the next couple waves, not yeah. the first one. So the Colts might be actually doing something. but. For now, to start with the Colts, since you know we're Colts fans from Indiana, they did finally get a quarterback. 
And a good one. And it was a good one. Yeah. Yeah, it's M- been Matt Ryan is a Indianapolis Colts. It took two weeks and it felt like eight years. Oh, one year. Yeah. Well, see, us as Sam Ellinger being your starting co- quarterback on the depth chart does not feel good after you've gone one... from Peyton Manning to Andrew Luck. No, that's and that's my that's my yeah. point. Uh, being you know Indianapolis Colts fan, fan since you know since we were born, what Manning was drafted in ninety nine something like 98. that ninety eight ninety yeah. eight. So, so we haven't had a quarterback. Spoiled for a very We've been long spoiled, time. and then you know, and then into Andrew Manning Luck to Andrew Luck for the six five years. Yeah, and then he died on the field. Yeah, and then he came back and was good for a year and said, "I don't want to do this anymore." And nobody can blame him because our offensive line <laughs> during those blame years, him as everybody booed him as the walked as into Lucas Oil. Okay, okay. Indianapolis Colts fans. fans are they're very they're diehard. Okay, yeah. they yeah, but they, be granted, the man got. Pulverized for his entire <laughs> career. He hit he so had... many times he started complimenting people. He's like, "Wow, you like destroyed my hip right there." <laughs> nice yeah. Hit. yeah, but yeah, and then Matt Ryan might be the most exciting, excited you could be about a Colts quarterback since Andrew Luck. Yeah, for sure. Since the, I mean, Phil was very good. Phil was enjoyable, but Phil was also noticeably on the downswing of his career. Like the arm was not all yeah. the way. I feel there. like we can get more from Matt Ryan. Matt, I honestly think Matt's, we... Matt's arm still appears to be there. He yeah. was just on a team where he had no time to throw last uh, year. Yeah. yeah, I hope this is kind of a Matt Stafford effect. True, he is a little older, but he's a little older. He Matt, is yeah. less beaten. Uh, his body age is probably about the same. Yeah, Matt Stafford I, I, took a beating. In I heard that uh, yeah. uh, Matt Ryan has kind of the same, you know, dietary routine, like physical he fitness training, the, comparable to Tom Brady. To Tom, yeah, he and Tom Brady's going to play until he's 63. Like, he's going to go as long as he wants. He's yeah. gonna, and the, this man does not Matt, look... Matt may not make it that far, but if he makes it, if he makes it, you know, more than two years, that seems like a win. Yeah, we won. The, we won. <laughs> then that works <laughs> for me. No, that it's works. already a win. We didn't have to give up much. Yeah. No, we gave up, our, what, a third round? Third, yeah. It was just cool that, you know, Atlanta, you know, obviously told him, hey, we're probably going to trade you for Deshaun. And then even whenever they did it, they're like, hey, we, we understand if you still want to leave. Yeah, it's like, whatever you want to do, you know, we're good by it. Which is pretty cool. I mean, yeah. you got to give the man respect. He did throw a 29, or 28, excuse me, to three lead in the Super Bowl. So, Let's I mean, you got to give him. That doesn't happen yeah. for if he's a cold. <laughs> yeah, I, I swear if that happens. Going to that being said, that to it wouldn't be fun if it happened, but at least that means we were in the Super Bowl. That's true. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> that's progress that is 100 percent progress and i you know i'll take it no i mean i'll still be i mean i'll burn his jersey after the fact you know <laughs> i will go buy a matt ryan jersey and then burn it but if we get to a yeah, super i can't really, be that man what right? we do is we get up 28 to 3 and we're like all right sam get in there sit down sam we're gonna the, spike the ball every possession hand the ball to jonathan taylor for the rest of the game no yeah. That, that, that yeah at that point we you can just to, knee the ball done. multiple times until <laughs> the, no, the clock runs out falling yeah. for this twice <laughs> <laughs> oh no we know better <laughs> But, you know, and then outside of Matt, it has been probably the biggest off-season of moves in the yeah, NFL. It's probably been a million. History. Aaron Rodgers is, you know, all the receivers are moving. Devontae to, o- or not Oakland. It's not Oakland anymore. Sure Devontae to Las Vegas. The Raiders. <laughs> Tyreek. Gotta go to fast. The, Tyreek to the Dolphins. Tyreek does gotta go fast. I wasn't talking about Tyreek. I know you weren't, but. It it does play both ways, um, and then what I don't get it. Uh, Aaron Rodgers it's not allowed on this podcast. Currently has nobody to throw the football. Please elaborate. We can't elaborate. <laughs> that was settled in court. <laughs> and then, but yeah. So now you know, with all the receivers moving, despite all of the receiver movement, um, MVS Valdez Scantling to. Kansas City, Juju to Kansas City. All the receiver there, there for a second, I was like, oh my goodness, Kansas is going to be just unreal. <laughs> and then, I mean, and, they're still going to be unreal. I mean, have Juju still have Patrick Mahomes Juju and Patrick Jackson. Mahomes. And, but Tyreek. <laughs> but Tyreek. Still mean, too, too many, can you have too many weapons? And you're just like, I don't even Tyreek, know. Tyreek spent two seconds of watching Juju and Jackson Mahomes shoot TikTok on the sidelines, and he's like, I got to Wait, get were they here. actually? No. They, okay. Ty, uh, Juju said in a statement that he actually made that he was had no intentions of filming TikToks with Jack. Oh, oh that was a please. real thing. 
that somebody That's asked hilarious. him in a press conference and he answered. <laughs> Good. Good. That, that, this, that, this is a win for Kansas City fans did, out however, there. It's a win for the NFL. It's a, it's, it's, America. it's a win for America, people. He did, however, <laughs> film a TikTok by himself as soon as he got to the facility. That's it. Canceled the Chiefs. <laughs> Oh my! But uh, no. So Tyreek Hill spent two seconds of that, and he's like, you know, get me out of here. Yeah. When in reality, it was you know, Devontae got a massive contract. He's like, I want that one. Yeah. Give me that contract. Yeah. And so he's in Miami now for Tua to try and throw him the football downfield. That'll be an. Ex- Brian, experiment. you need to post that video uh, on on the Lost in Thought and podcast. I can't do it because I like Tua. But it's it's so such accurate. It's, so accurate it's such a I good like video. Tua. Actually, it's not accurate. It's very inaccurate. Just it's, like Tua. Yeah, just exactly like Tua. <laughs> He's accurate. He just can't throw the ball downfield. Good one, Jeff. Thank you. His noodle Shut arm. Up. He has a noodle <laughs> Shut arm. Up. <laughs> His noodle arm. Yes. <laughs> he has a noodle arm. It's an accurate noodle arm, but it's a noodle arm. I don't know about that. This video He's that like we seventy percent of his passes. They're just all checkdowns because <laughs> he can't throw it downfield. Oh my goodness, Brian. But, no, and then Deshaun to the Browns was the big one. That that was probably the biggest. Yeah, that like, was yeah. wild. Hey, that is a lot. He did do it. <laughs> yes, he didn't do it. He, I mean, it's, it's proven in court, Brian. No, twice. It was twice. Proven in court <laughs> not once, that there twice, wasn't Brian. Enough evidence. I'm trying not to get the podcast canceled. <laughs> The, it was proven in court that there wasn't enough evidence, and it was not taken to court, or there would let's be just, no charges just, in two different counties. So, just be on the record: we do not condone anything Deshaun Watson has done or will ever do, or maybe hasn't done, or maybe That's hasn't true. done. We, <laughs> we, do, we, we still, no still don't know. We, we still don't know. But the fact that twenty-two, we'll no, probably not, women came out against him is. Uh, More likely than not, we'll probably never get an answer, and most of it yeah. will get settled out. Of <laughs> and court. he'll just get a four-game like, suspension, like get, all the yeah, <laughs> he'll get a four-game Ray Rice suspension, mm-hmm. and they'll move on. So, and he'll play for the Browns, where they'll find a way to choke, even though they shouldn't. Do I have any info on uh, on uh, Baker? No, he's stuck. Baker is still in Cleveland. Somebody said, Nobody what if they him. just keep him?" And I can't imagine that is even on the table. Oh no, Nobody one I- wants him. But, but the Browns technically do need a starting forward. quarterback for as long as Deshaun is suspended, so they might force him to play that. And they and want would be very everything funny. for him. Yeah, but no, I'd imagine Doing what's Seattle, best for, for Baker. I'd imagine Seattle's still <laughs> on the market. Yeah. Unless they really do like Drew Locke, which seems unlikely. What's but Drew Locke is a Drew very Locke? cool person. That's true. He is a very cool, like, off-the-field person. He has just struggled every time he's got on the field. Yeah. Yeah. Which is pretty important. But when you're getting paid millions of dollars, off-field person got Jacoby a starting spot for an entire year, or all his off-field personality. So, yeah. But that's about it in the NFL. It's a wild yeah. world of sports right now, yeah. and we'll you know. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers has you know, got paid what 150 million. That's much? a lot. There's just it has not no receivers. a lot to talk about in the NFL when they're not playing games. That's true. And so, like, you know, we kind of laid it all out there, and it's like, oh, that's pretty cool and wild that it's all happening. But it's like, where do we kind of go from there? Yeah. TikTok. <laughs> to Juju. Yeah. Did you... Sub to Juju's TikTok. That's not called no, sub. It's, it's called following. Oh, my God. <laughs> should we make a TikTok? Okay. We should have. I should have already made us a TikTok. Gosh, but I didn't Brian. Do it. Now, we're... I'm sorry, guys. This is embarrassing. Yeah, we this really follow is. Follow the TikTok Lost in Thought podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it'll be up Maybe it'll be up by the time we <laughs> this yeah. premieres. We'll put it on the video. <laughs> if it's there, we'll add it to the link tree in the description with all our other links. Ooh. All right, so... But the that's world... probably about it for football and sports, right? Yeah, I it? think that's it. Yep. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and move on to the, the world, on to the world of gaming. So, um, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, the next edition in the Borderlands universe. Uh, you guys, I don't think you've... Brian, you've played a little bit of Borderlands. I, I don't Borderlands. I haven't played Borderlands. So I play with you usually. Um, co op campaigns and stuff. I've played, it released uh, March 25th, which was, uh, which would have been last Friday. And well, yeah. yes, technically last Friday, but um, now. From now. And out of, I've probably played about four or five hours, and four or five hours that I've played have been phenomenal. It's kind of, it's basically a tabletop RPG ingrained into the Borderlands format. 
That's so, cool. Yeah. You know, like basically, kind of like the character man. progression I just system. Don't play it as much you can, as you I probably so, should. Yeah. What's different about this one is character creation has kind of like a RPG stat attribution attribute system, and other than that, it, you have kind of like an overworld where you're exploring the overworld, kind of like a tabletop RPG. But all of that is smushed into the shooting and looting of Borderlands. Um, so it is phenomenal. I highly recommend it to anyone who is is a fan of just shooters in general, shooter looter or looter shooters, and just good video games in general. So I played the Fortnite Borderlands. <laughs> you, you got that. I had the black drop backpack. Like it, you were is, in is that, wait, is that the f- character from Fortnite in the is new video the game standalone? Fortnite? Is that the guy from Fortnite? It's LeBron, the Fortnite guy. <laughs> so, LeBron I won't go into in depth because Adela- there's not really much to talk about with the rest of the crew, but I enjoy it and would highly recommend. And this is, brings up another point. Uh, I think uh, a good idea would be to set up a Discord for all True. the gamers who listen. Yeah. And you guys can get together. Get to know one of one another, and then you know, if you guys want to group up and play some games. I'd be all play for that. So people that listen to the podcast. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk about uh, we can amongst set, ourselves. To, we can set one. Up. It shouldn't, be, it too shouldn't be too difficult. It'll just no. be a matter of learning the ins and outs and how to set up like the privacy settings and everything, so that it's all correct. Yeah. yeah. So to look for the that in the future, and maybe regular chats and all that stuff. For sure. All right, so the Cycle Frontier. Uh, that was pretty fun. Ryan and I played one game. I played a little bit more than he did. I just um, played, yeah, one. So if you guys are familiar enjoyable, though. with Tarkov. Escape from Tarkov. Um, Is that a Call of Duty map? No, <laughs> it's not. No. It's, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure I played. No. <laughs> yeah, no, I, no. <laughs> I think I have. <laughs> Is that, the, is that the new drop zone on Fortnite? Yes. <laughs> I it knew it. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. It's a Fortnite map. <laughs> so, so it's basically that gameplay loop, but it's but a little it's bit more uh, beginner friendly. <laughs> Essentially, you drop in, you complete object- object- objectives for certain factions, and you're going up against uh, the PvE creatures of the PvP. world, as well as the other players who are also trying to complete objectives. So and it's kind of a die, PvP PvE. You lose all your stuff. And if you yeah, if you die, you lose all your stuff <laughs> that you had on your mission. I guess the, not all your stuff because you have your stuff. You, you back can you can keep. There's everything. like certain pockets where you, you can know, save keep stuff that, and all that. Save your stuff in the inventory. Um. So, but, uh, it's it's in play test right now, and I think it's PC only. I say if you're on PC you're on, and you have a Steam account, account you can easily sign up, and they're just it takes about handing, a day. They're just handing out uh, these play tests, uh, closed beta. Yeah, it codes, takes about so. a day, but. You get it. Get an email confirmation. It was very. It was enjoyable. I mean, we'll probably play more of it. We'll That's definitely cool. play more. I need yeah. to try it. I you wasn't able. I wasn't able to. Yeah. So that and then you know that's a play test, but the big beta play test coming soon. That we're all looking forward to coming and soon. By that, the, I mean, oh. me and Nate and Jeff will probably be there. <laughs> Jeff will be there. No, I will play it. <laughs> I Overwatch will play two. the healer. The Overwatch <laughs> Two beta is April twenty sixth. And I, and so I forward to am it. very much ready because I'm addicted to that game. Yes, so. we're all addicted to the game, but I uh, refuse 4K. to. Four K, yep. actually caught in 1080, but yeah, <laughs> 10, true. We don't 1080p. 4K. <laughs> 4K, that's just a little overkill. Those files are very large. <laughs> it's 4K. Yeah, we, we want. Maybe we one, don't want to. We don't want to take three hours to <laughs> upload. <Mac> already crashing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's April 26th. And we are very much looking to the forward to the new life into the game. Very so, nice. so yeah, the big the big takeaways from from Overwatch Two is they're going to a five v five format. They're taking out um, a tank, so it's going to be one tank, two supports, and two TP- yeah. DPS. And there's also a lot of hero. There's actually Doomfist is moving from the DPS category to the tank to the tank category. I'm l- really looking forward to that. When we, I, me and Brian listened, or Brian and I listened to the uh, dev, the dev developer talk, update, whatever it's called. Um, that happened a f- a week or so ago, a yeah, few days. I'm not, a yeah, a, around that time, and they actually said that I, I was kind of hesitant about moving 
stupid yeah, tank position. Really strong right but they now. said he's really strong. So the, kind of the reasoning behind tone. that is they're taking a lot of the crowd control abilities from the other characters and shifting them specifically to the tank role. Yeah. Uh, just so you know, you're not infinitely stunned for you know 30 years and then just get melted as a tank. You know, Been main there. takes um, in that game yeah. really Been there. Really, <laughs> Been there. really susceptible to actually getting deleted off the face. Of, I mean, it but just kicks tanks, you right out of the game. Like the it, it's kind of weird how it is, happens. They shifted from the tanks <laughs> essentially getting bullied. <laughs> Bullied until control. you know where the, it to actually the, kicks you out of the, the server. Tanks being the ones that are controlling the crowd control, they have all the they have all control. So I'm really yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing um, how that all works, and um, hopefully they can renew our faith. For real, I will be very excited to. Hopefully by then we'll get the channels up, and maybe we'll be able to stream some of that or something. And that would be something that I'd be very excited to, very excited to actually get up and share with you yeah. guys oh yeah, yeah for, no, sure. for sure that'd be good because believe it or not this is pretty much what we do every day <laughs> we, we sit on just without the microphone yeah, just without the microphone on, <laughs> we sit on discord and we talk and we play video games and usually yeah. not a lot of video it. games actually get played in True. That thing. And a lot of times we're just sitting in there talking so it'll be like extra podcasts that we stream and play video games while we do yeah. it yeah so, so that'll be what? something we hope to get up I mean, set up. Probably Pretty. won't start streaming right away, but get it ironed out sooner rather than later. And now, and now the big. This is we've all <laughs> the topic everyone's oh, been waiting for. You didn't even know this is going to be so oh, good. Everyone. This is what you needed to hear, but we're going to bring it to you right now. And that is the announcement. Well, I guess it's already been announced, but <laughs> like April second. Times. It's been it's been announced you know, three times. Second. So, April 2nd. Thankfully not April 1st, otherwise I wouldn't believe it. Yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, it I would have known they were lying. <laughs> but what we're talking about here, ladies and gentlemen, is the release of Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. Oh my yeah. okay. yeah. Round of applause. Yeah. We've been it's waiting. After, after so many delays, I, I can't even, I don't yeah, even know how many times it's been too hard, you might knock the camera off the shoe. Yeah, true. <laughs> then we'll have to scrap this and start, and start all over again. But... Lego yeah, Star Wars. Lego Star Wars. Is I grew up with it. Almost here. I grew up with it. I've waited I, for this since the Wii. Yeah. For real. For, <laughs> since the, I mean, it like, was man. so good on the Wii. Was, <laughs> we didn't even know about the, uh, the sequels, but we were already ready for the Skywalker yeah. Saga. Yeah. They've done a lot of different changes. Uh, I, I, they have, like, a skill tree for individual Abilities, character ar yeah. archetypes, and then just, like, a general skill tree. It's, it seems like it's going to be more RPG-oriented. Yeah. A lot more customization, a lot more... Uh, I think there's more co-op <laughs> abilities in the game as more well. More yeah, co-op. every time you cut somebody in half with a lightsaber, they'll shatter into a bunch of little Lego pieces. And it's going to be It's going to be fun. Option for grunt style. Why is that a thing? Narration. That's what do you mean? awesome. That's how Did it was Did we get that OG Yoda scream? Oh, I like that. I understand what you're saying I, now. What, what's it actually called? My bad. I don't know what you're... I, you, like, yeah. you're talking about, like, the... Because they the added voices. words, yeah. and everybody hated it. Yeah, and but yeah, so you know, it's like the original ones where they just make noises instead of actually talking. Yeah, so you should. I thought you were going to have the choice now to where you can go back to that or choose in between. You can just make them. You can just make them make the noises that they used to make. <laughs> the grunts are so good, which is so much better. Think, okay, so Yoda's death, like animation and sound, <laughs> has got to be the classic. I hope they bring that back. It's so funny. Like, or whatever died. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I, th those of you who know, know, okay? So, <laughs> I hope they bring that back. We're all excited. I know Eric's excited for it, but screw Eric. He's never he's here. He's never here, so. As you can tell, Eric is excited for it. I'm pointing at an empty couch. I don't know if you guys, you probably may be That's able to see that. That's the seat that we keep saving for Eric. Thinking that one day he's gonna be here to sit in it and actually record. Oh, that day will probably never come. Don't but get your hopes up. We will keep texting. But we him. will. We will keep texting him. What I and I'm sure he'll have happen. plenty of laundry to do. Yeah, he's doing laundry right now. That's why he's not here. <laughs> yep. Good luck to you, Eric. Good luck to you Hope and all your future endeavors. Done. Yeah, Star Wars. Lo really looking forward to it. Um, I think it's available on. Ho hopefully, it's available on PC. If not, I'll probably be picking it up on PlayStation. So, yeah, but but it was I say that's pretty much everything. Yeah, it really is. So I mean, hopefully, 
we'll be able to get a lot of this ironed out so that we can keep improving the podcast and get a little bit more lost in thought. Oh, we're I'm already so lost right now. I mean, we were pretty lost today, but I mean, we'll be able to, you know, get everything. Hopefully you'll find us. Yeah, for real. (laughs) Something like that. Find some us in our thoughts so that we get out and can finish the next episode. Somewhere yeah. in the sauce. Somewhere, we're, we're somewhere in the <laughs> Who sauce. That's where we're at. <laughs> so, all right, just just a couple reminders before we uh, log off for today. Uh, this is an interactive podcast. I don't yeah. think I've reiterated this time and time again, but I'm just just tell us. Feel free to give wrong. us. Yeah, tell us what <laughs> a, a, any con- what constructive bad, criticism yeah. we will happily take, and uh, just any requests, feedback. Um, Anything that you want from us, tell me how just many times I've re-put in my headphones because they keep falling out just, today. Yeah, oh my just, gosh, just count that too. out. <laughs> it's unreal. It's doing it right now. Yeah. I can hear Fix myself. Fix it right now, Brian. Goodness gracious. No, mine's fine. You Jeff's know, I think I said goodness gracious to Brian more than I said goodness goodness gracious Jeff today. Yeah. So that's true. true. That's that's pretty impressive. But all right, uh, we're going to be uploading biweekly. Um, we're going to continue to do that until we have more free time for everyone. Probably not until the summer. But oh, like uh, summer, and then maybe Eric will be here. And maybe Eric will be true. here. That is entirely possible. So just just keep on the lookout. Um, we may do sometimes weekly, sometimes biweekly, but for now we're going to stick with biweekly, and that's what uh, yeah. I, I would just stay to that. Be up yeah. Monday at ten this time. It'll be up on all platforms because they're all verified. They're yep. all verified right now. So. so. Uh, be on the lookout for that Discord. Be on the lookout for our TikTok. And, and maybe a Twitch or... It'll probably just be on our YouTube if we stream. Yeah. Probably keep yeah. it on yeah. the same channel. Probably just keep it on, on YouTube. YouTube, maybe Twitch. YouTube but Gaming. We are now YouTube Gaming. YouTube people. Gaming. Yep. So. Who cares about Twitch? All right. That's all we have this week. Uh, thank you for listening and continue giving us uh, your thoughts and support. We appreciate it. Yep. Peace thank out. You.